Scientists say Antares, the 15th brightest star in the night sky, is even bigger than previously thought. An international team of astronomers have detailed the structure of Antares, the brightest star in the constellation of Scorpius, when seen from Earth, according to a study in astronomy and astrophysics. Writing in a news release, the team says Antares is so large that if the giant star were in the solar system, its surface would envelop the planets from Mercury to Mars. Furthermore, Antares's atmosphere is unusually large and would almost reach Saturn, with a length that is 2.5 times as long as the radius of the star. According to the team, these observations were made with the Atacama Large Millimeter Array and the Carl G. Jansky Very Large Array. Additionally, the team was able to see that the giant star's wind acceleration zone, or the range to which Antares could accelerate solar wind particles, is almost equal to the distance between the Sun and Uranus. Speaking of Uranus, do you know it leaks plasma? Uranus passed wind over three decades ago, and now NASA knows all about it. Writing in the Geophysical Research Letters, NASA says a review of Voyager 2's old data from 1986 showed that Uranus vented a giant blob of gas into space. This pocket of ionized gas, a plasma structure called plasmoid, was 400 kilometers across and 200 kilometers long. According to NASA's news release, Uranus is special in that it spins almost on its side like a pig on spit roast while the axis of its magnetic field is offset from the spin by 60 degrees. This gives the planet's magnetic field an odd wobble that scientists cannot model. As solar winds blasted Uranus, the bombardment pinched gas off from the far end of the field. The resulting leak was then accidentally discovered by NASA researchers who were reviewing the old magnetic data. In the new research, scientists dialed up the reading's resolution to make a data point every two seconds. They spotted a blip in the readings that indicated the planet was making a plasmoid. It was just as well that Voyager 2 don't have a sense of smell, since Uranus contains a lot of aromatic stuff like ammonia and methane, behavior that is shockingly undignified for a planet named after a Greek god. Scientists may have figured out why Uranus circles the sun while lying on its back. The solar system's seventh planet, Uranus, is a ringed gas giant with a horizontal rotational axis or tilt that is unique in the solar system. According to a preprint study, scientists may have uncovered new evidence that explains the gas giant's idiosyncratic rotation. Writing in a press release, the research team says Uranus's tilt is highly unusual, as most other planets in the system, such as Earth and Jupiter, rotate with an axis close to perpendicular to their orbit. According to the research team during the early solar system, an ice planet as large as three times the mass of Earth may have impacted Uranus and knocked the gas giant off its axis. Although the ice planet would have vaporized on impact, the team says their model shows that the hypothetical impact would lead to the formation of Uranus's ring system and moons, which they dubbed the smoking gun for the collision. Due to its strange orbit and unfortunate name, Uranus is both a puzzle to astrophysicists and something of a butt of jokes. A news release from NASA, for example, said the giant rotates, quote, like a pig on a spit roast. Also, astronomers now know the planet Pluto wears a frozen nitrogen methane heart. Pluto's cold heart gives warm winds, lovely nitrogen methane winds. According to a study in the Journal of Geophysical Research Planets, Pluto's frozen heart of nitrogen ice may be the main driver of the dwarf planet's winds. Pluto's heart-shaped Tombaugh Regio is a vast structure made of nitrogen ice, and its left lobe Sputnik Planitia contains 1,000 kilometers of ice sheet within its 5-kilometer basin. Phys.org reports that the study's authors used data from NASA's New Horizon mission in 2015 to construct a weather model for Pluto. During the day, a thin layer of the frozen nitrogen evaporates in relative heat. At night, the gas condenses and returns to icy form. The sequence pumps nitrogen wind through Pluto's atmosphere like rhythmic heartbeats. As nitrogen in Tombaugh Regio vaporizes in the north and freezes into ice in the south, the process triggers a westerly wind. Citing the study's authors, Phys.org says this behavior is unique in the entire solar system, with perhaps the exception of Neptune's moon Triton. 
The study's other discovery is that Sputnik Planitia's high cliffs trap winds within the basin before releasing the strengthened currents to the west. The atmospheric movement is similar to certain wind patterns on Earth, such as the Kuroshio in eastern Asia. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.